Hey, it worked. I was a little worried the identification process was going to be tough with this gearbox because it's really hard to move, but it's spinning backwards, but it's spinning correctly now. Oh, it's got the KLS bucking problem. Looks like this motor cannot be used with sine wave. Yep. Oh boy. All well, this KLS is out. I'm going to have to use a KBS, guys. Yeah, you can already notice the bucking. Well, it's probably going to skew the tests too. Let me uh, change this video around, see what I can do with reversing the motor real quick. I'm obviously in the setup on my computer, hooked in through the USB cable. So I gotta change the uh, direction of the motor. Where is that? Change direction. Now click right. It's done, because the Chinese writing always means success. All right, and that worked, because now it's spinning the correct direction. I have no idea what gear that is, and there's actually no oil in the gearbox. So let's hook up an amp meter to this and uh, see what happens. This is only on a 10 cell right now, because I'm gonna try a 10 cell and then I'll try a 20 cell. I just wanted to get everything configured before I started breaking stuff. All right, let's give a test here. Um, I got a amp meter hooked in series with my batteries and uh, it's only up to 10 amps so I'm gonna go slow with this thing I don't even know what gear I'm in but I got it spinning the right direction we got 10 cell 18650 in parallel just so there's enough battery Ouch, 6.5 amps. I don't even know what gear that is.